All right, so today is Foundation Friday, and we are trying out a foundation from Sally Beauty Supply. This is their Collab Bright Spark Radiant Foundation. The collab line to Sally Beauty is fairly recent. I think it launched in this last year, and I believe that most of their products were like in collab with other influencers, and I think they have some standalone products as well. This is a newer foundation, though, to the line. They had a matte foundation that I haven't tried, but I been in my two try bin for forever but as soon as i saw they had a radiant foundation i picked it up this foundation comes in 10 shades retails for 14.99 sally's does do sales pretty often so you can usually find stuff on sale just wait for it to go on sale or they do like coupons if you're a sally beauty member so i don't think i paid full price for this i have the lightest shade which is porcelain but let's read the description first so it says this is a revolutionary silky smooth formula that seamlessly blends into the skin creating an immaculate complexion with radiant luminosity low medium buildable coverage with a luminous glow i like a good simple description you know comes in a glass bottle has a pump i'm gonna start swatches right here so you guys can see what the shade porcelain looks like next to some of my other foundations all right we've got some swatches so right here is the collab foundation in the lightest shade 01 porcelain next over is cyo life proof in 101 lancome renergy lip foundation in 140p this I wanted to swatch because a bunch of you guys have been asking about it. This is the new lightest shade of the Too Faced Born This Way foundation in the shade Cloud. So this is pretty fair. You can see it compared to the other ones. Maybelline Fit Me foundation in 115, Dermacol 208, and Tarte Rainforest of the Sea foundation in Porcelain. Actually right now when I'm filming this video, they do have buy two get one free of Cloud products. It says that it expires August 31st. I'm pretty sure this video will be going up. Yeah way before then. I also wanted to say, if you saw last week's foundation Friday, it was on the Laura Geller Filter First Foundation, and I wanted to update you guys that that has broken me out, and I have only gotten one other really tiny breakout since I've been off Accutane, so that does break me out. I've gotten little bumps on like both sides of my face, and I've used that a few times since filming that video, and every time I use it, I wake up with little bumps the next day. So I won't be using that one anymore. If you wanna know my thoughts on it, you can check out that review video, but everyone's skin is different. You might be totally fine. Just wanted to give you guys a heads up. So if you enjoy Foundation Fridays, you can give this video a thumbs up. If you're new here, you can join the Bay Radio family and subscribe. I upload every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 6 p.m. Pacific time. Foundation first impressions are every single Friday, same time, 6 p.m. Pacific time. Ooh, it's 11, 11, whoa. All right, I've got my damp sponge here. This is the LA Girl sponge. And on the other half of my face, I'm gonna use my Flat Top Kabuki Sigma F80. I just tried a different perfume combo and it smells so good. I mixed the Tokyo Milk with, I can picture the bottle. What the heck was that one called? So there is a pump on here and it's a glass bottle. We're gonna start out with a brush on this side. I'm actually gonna start on this side today. Switch it up. Here we go. Has an interesting smell. It almost smells like the Wet n Wild, but not as bad, like not as strong as a paint chemical smell, but doesn't smell great. This is one of those foundations that I feel like you do have to really blend it into your skin because it kind of just like sits on top of it. It's not super easily like just melting into my face or anything, but the finish looks really pretty. It looks like about low medium or highlight coverage with a brush. Let's try my forehead. Whoops, got a little bit too much there. All right, I'm gonna blend it across, but then Blend it out with a sponge on the rest of my forehead because I just got way too much. Yeah, it definitely looks like quite streaky when you first put it on, so you do have to work this into your skin. I like a glow for sure, but there's something about this one, maybe just between like the streaks and how it's sitting on my skin that it just looks a little bit much. I'm gonna take this sponge and just tap it out up here. Okay, let's see how it does on the other side. Not sure how I feel about this one right now. The shade is a bit dark. You can see a line right here on my neck. So I'm gonna blend that down. Oops, and almost pull out my ear. Where did I just put it? Let's sponge it out on this side now. I don't know why I always put in hoops before foundation. Oh yeah, this is a sponge foundation for sure. Looks like I'm getting about the same coverage with the sponge but the finish and how this blends out is way better with the sponge. Yeah, this is a sponger. That's pretty rare for me actually where a sponge looks better with the foundation. Center of my forehead looks really good and actually that looks like it's building pretty well. Now it looks like we're about medium coverage. You can still see my freckles coming through on my forehead. I've been getting a little bit more freckles up there just from the summer and you can see them still coming through, which I like. I, if I get 
kind of a smooth, even complexion, but I can still see my freckles coming through. I don't mind that because it looks more like skin. Sponge side looks 10 times better than the brush side. This is one of those shades on me that because the undertone isn't super orangey, I think I can wear it, but it definitely is about a shade too dark, but because the undertone it doesn't look like too off, I'm just gonna blend it all the way down. Ooh, I'm getting whiffs of this perfume and it smells so good. Now that it's blended out and I've gone over everything with the sponge, it looks really nice. Doesn't feel quite as like oily as when I first put it on. It feels like it's setting down a little bit. To the touch, it definitely is transferring and it feels like you for sure have to set this. It does feel a little bit almost like oily to the touch or something. So I am gonna set this part of my face. It looks like this might be a creaser throughout the day on my upper lip. But overall right now it looks pretty good. I'm not like super wowed, but I also don't not like it. So it's 11.22 now. So I'm gonna do the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back. All right, it's now 11.54, but the check-in time is 11.30. But I'm... I'm not feeling this one at all. There's something about this, just, you know when you put on those foundations and you can't pinpoint what it is, but there's something that just is not working with your skin. That's how I feel about this one. Now that I went through the whole Accutane thing and I don't have as much to cover up, I'm totally fine with light coverage foundations. That's what I use most often when I'm not filming now. But if I'm gonna be wearing a light coverage foundation and my skin is coming through, I want the finish and everything to look like skin or else there's no point. And this is just one of those foundations that is on the lighter coverage side, but it just doesn't look flattering on my skin. I can see it on my skin, it's too dark, but shade aside, it's just one of those ones that if I could right now, I would just wash off my face. This feels like a little bit oily or something on my skin almost, but I'm gonna insert a clip right here in natural lighting so you guys can see what it looks and then we'll do a flash test. In front of the window, so here we are in natural lighting. It almost looks like a little bit dry or something. You can definitely see it just like chilling on my skin. It looks like how some foundations look on me after like six hours. This one is just how it looks off the bat. It just looks like it's aging my skin. Like, it just does not look flattering. Okay, let's do the flash test now. I think it always looks worse because my eyes are like blinded from the flash right after, right when I look at it. But it definitely looks like there's flashback, especially considering that it's actually about a shade darker. So on the rest of my face, I feel like this look would look probably a lot better with lashes, but I just could not be bothered today. I use the MUA Bronze Perfection Matte for bronzer. Sigma blush in Cor de Rosa. Ooh, almost dropped it. Went in with that for a blush. And then my highlight, I used this thing, which I tried out in a first impressions video that I'm pretty sure is gonna be up before this video, but this is the Glam Glow Glow Palette. And I just went in with this middle shade again. Eyeshadow, I used the Sigma Warm Neutrals Volume 2 Palette. These shades are just so folly to me. I'm excited for fall. I'm kind of ready. Smudge some liner, did a little liner, okay. Did a little liner smudging. And my lips are Too Faced Melted Metallic in Sugar Kisses. And then I just kind of lined it, like I went over that a little bit with CoverGirl 205 Caramel Nude. So the check-in time again is 11.30. I'll see you guys in a few hours in natural lighting for the next check-in. It's four o'clock, so it's been on for about four and a half hours now. And uh, just lit a fall candle. It's August 2nd. I'm ready for fall. It's like raining today. Got on my fuzzy jacket from Costco. That's the best decision I've ever made. So I feel like right now the foundation doesn't necessarily look any worse. It just looks about the same. And it does look a little bit less dewy. Like now it just looks a little bit more dry and matte. Actually, take that back. It might look a little bit worse. Oof, you can just see like, not even see. It's like making me look like I have creases and bumps and dryness where I don't. Ooh, ugh. It's like it's rubbed off on my cheek area down there towards the bottom and a little bit right here too where I wasn't touching at all. And then I feel like a little bit on my nose too. It's settling into some lines up here. Not a whole lot has changed, still not feeling this one, but I'm gonna keep wearing this and I'll see you guys at the end of the night. All right, so it's not quite 10 hours. It's about eight hours right now, but I'm gonna end this Checking a little bit early because I'm starting to feel pretty shitty. So it's 7.24, so that's an eight hour wear test right now. And I just looked in the mirror and it is looking pretty much the same, maybe a little bit cakier and like a little bit heavier on my forehead. Here's up close, it looks like there's a bit more separation right there. Overall, it just looks pretty dry, creasy, 
matte definitely has not worn better throughout the day and I mean same kind of things as before so this one I would definitely pass on. There are way better foundations around that same price point. I don't like how the radiance just kind of like went away. It at first looked very glowy and like it was almost going to be too oily and then now it's just like totally matte and dry looking. So this one for me is a major thumbs down, not into it, but I'm going to go take all this off and get in bed because head is a throbbin. But I hope you guys enjoyed this Foundation Friday regardless. If you did, you can give it a thumbs up. Love you guys. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.